What's up, world? It's your boy KP with the culture. What's up, everybody? This is DPC. What up with y'all? Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. We got Thanksgiving coming up. You know what I'm saying? We hope y'all have a good turkey day. We, we're real far in advance. We had Thanksgiving lunch today. But anyway, doesn't matter. What yeah. up, y'all? How y'all doing? So we're coming to you from location unknown, the back cave from yeah. the culture. You know what I'm saying? The culture offices. We done moved <laughs> up in the world. You know, we're doing big things. But today... I called it to my boy, you know what I'm saying? We got gifted. Adidas looked out for it. Shout out to Adidas. Uh, we got a review of the 350 Boost Zebra coming up right now. Peace. What's up? It's your boy KP with The Culture coming to you live again from the Culture Central at Bat Cave. We got a review of the Easy 350 Boost. Shout out to the good folks at Adidas. Sent these to us. Uh, Want to get our review. Uh, so we appreciate that. So we got the 350 Boost Zebra coming to you right now. But real quick, want to give a shout out to my boys at Way Down South. It's a clothing line out of the Atlanta, Georgia market. You guys should get up on Way Down South. You can find them on Instagram, uh, Facebook. They got their website. They have some really, really go dope gear. Uh, me and DPC are big, big fans of Way Down South. Shout out to them. Shout out to Retro Boys, Mifflin, my little cuz, Cal Green. Y'all know what's up, man. So let's jump into this review, 350 Boots. Of course, you can see standard 350 box. Of course, the box is very simple. You know, we like simple. So, let's see what these things look like. So, of course, we got the Zebras right here. Zebra 350. Yeezy. I have to be honest. Um, this is my first pair of Yeezys. Uh, shout out to DPC. I know he already had a pair of blue tents. Uh, but these shoes are super, super comfortable. I cannot lie. First off, I love the materials. The Prime Net. I mean, I own multiple pair of fly nets. I have fly net runners, fly net Jordans. Um, and I have to be honest, these shoes are far more comfortable and I like the materials a lot better. Nothing against the fly nets. I like those shoes, so this is going the right direction for me. Uh, but also like the attention to detail. Obviously, 350 supply is pretty cool. Um, you know, boost technology. You got seen reviews on all this. I thought this was cool too. You see the foam at the bottom. Um, the other feature I really thought that was like a real nice little hint because this is Adidas shoe. You don't see the three stripes on it. I like the three stripes on the inside. Mm -hmm. uh, that so, is 3M, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And 3M. So that's pretty cool. And, of course, where it says Yeezy, Yeezy Adidas on the inside was dope as well. This being my first pair. I've already tried them on. I have to be honest, uh, this is probably my second most comfortable shoe that I own. So more than New Balance, Puma, all that stuff. The only shoe that I feel is more comfortable than this is the Hirachi Run. To me, that's the most comfortable shoe that has ever been made. But I want to hear from you guys. What do y'all think? You know, if y'all think this is, you know, the most comfortable, let us know. I was arguing with my boy DJ Wonderboy. I know he felt that the New Balance is more comfortable. But I have to see, I have to say, I see why people are really into these as far as the comfort and the rareability. Um, it's a dope shoe, man. It's a dope shoe. You cannot deny that. Uh, so real happy I had the opportunity, uh, thanks to Adidas, to get these. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend them. I would recommend them. Uh, hope that doesn't make me a hype beast, but <laughs> <laughs> I still like the shoe and I think that you guys should check it out. So let's hear from DPC and see what he has to say about it. All right. So as you guys know, I already did my review on my, um, my blue tents that I got last year. And originally, of course, I was not a huge, well, let me not say I wasn't a huge fan. I just didn't get the hype. But again, admittedly, once I tried them on, I became a big fan. So this, of course, being one of the original colorways, after, of course, the, all the Black Series that did it, but the first one of its kind, when it first released, the shoe was extremely hyped. I mean, thousands of dollars being paid for, for on resale for these 1400 bro. So, I mean, people just, just mortgaging their house and stuff for this type of stuff. But um, this is a dope colorway, man. This is a, it's a, it's a dope colorway. It's, it's black and white. That's called a win. Uh, you can wear it with anything, like like KP said before. I'm not gonna bore you guys with a full detail review because you guys have seen a million and one of these reviews. But again, the colorway is classic. I'm glad they re-released it. I'm glad they dropped a whole bunch of pairs just so that everybody who actually likes the shoe, actually wants the shoe, can get it. Um, enjoy it, wear it, get it dirty. These soles will get dirty. I know KP's worried about this already, but you know, hey, most people are not going to see this, so just wear your shoes, enjoy them, they're comfortable. Um, you know, and I know the, the ones next week, I think for Black Friday, the Sesame's, they're going to be really, really dope as well. So if you guys get your hands on those, you know, shout outs to you. Um, but again, the, Z, the, uh, the Zebras for me, one of the classic colorways, 
Um, I really want them to re-release those black and, and uh, I guess it was infrared or whatever they call them, the first set, like when they had the red one, the green one, and the gray one, all that stuff. Bring those back out too. Bring, bring the make, pirate back. Listen, bring the pirate back. Bring the pirate back. Make two million pairs. Make a million and, and, and a half pairs or whatever it is so that everybody that wants it, you actually likes it, you can get it. So shout out to everybody that got their pair. Um, I'm pretty sure this was, I know this was a huge GR. I mean, Jimmy Jazz and Finish Line, everybody everybody had them. So this, if you wanted them, you should have been able to get them. So again, a dope shoe. Not going to kill you guys with too much more of it. I'm a fan. You guys are a fan. Let us know how you feel about it. Did you get a pair? Did you get two pairs? I don't know, maybe you might have came up on three. Maybe you did a whole family size run. Shout out to you if you did that too, by the way, because you're very rich. Um, and, you know, that's all I got to say about it. KPL, I wanted him to do the, the lion share the talks. This was his first pair of, Ye of Yeezys. Shout out to y'all. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at The Culture One. Make sure to subscribe for more. Make sure to keep on rocking with us. We're going to keep on coming with more and more content, different content than everybody else do. No shade to anybody else, but just different than what uh, other people may do. Shout, Shout out, out to all the YouTubers, all Shout the snicker to all tubers. YouTubers. Shout out to the homies, the local homies, you know, T Ward, Mike yes, Rich, sir. you know, um, what's my other guy that's here? Unbreakable? Unbreakable is not here. Oh, okay. He's in Chicago, but shout out to him too. Shout out to Dan D, his antagonist. Um, so shout out to everybody. Out oh, there. Tony D Two Wild. Tony D Two Wild's here. You know, shout out to him or whatever. Um, yeah. so shout out to everybody else, man. Hope you guys enjoy your shoes. When Fresh you division. On. Fresh division, the homie. How can I? Come on, man. Come on, man. We here it's, with it's, you. It's, it's, uh, listen, that's family. So all right, shout out to everybody. Don't want to keep this video too long. So zebras on deck from the culture. I'm DPC. That's KP behind the camera. You know how to do. Follow us, subscribe, comment, like, share with your friends and family, and we out of here. Peace.